Hi, I'm Kate from House to Home and welcome to another episode of Handmade Wedding. Today we're going to be making some beautiful rustic country bunting like you can see behind me. You're going to need some scissors, some card and a pen in order to make a template for your bunting. You're going to need some burlap, some pins, your glue gun and a printout of Mr and Mrs or any other letters you want to put on the bunting in a font of your choice. So I've opted to use this typewriter font as it's the font that we've used throughout all the craft projects in this um, Country Rustic series of videos. First off, I need to create a template for my bunting. So I need to create a triangle. I'm going to do mine 15 centimetres across and 20 centimetres down. So in order to make sure it's a perfectly equal triangle, I'm going to mark off seven and a half centimetres because that will form the middle of the triangle and then just measure 20 centimetres down. I'm going to take a length of burlap. It very much depends on how many flags for the bunting you're going to make but I'd say a metre should be plenty enough if you're just going to do the Mr and Mrs and you're sticking to the sizes that we're using. So this I've actually already folded in half and ironed along this crease just to keep it really nice and flat. Burlap has a bit of a habit, it's quite a thick fabric of moving around quite a lot. You're going to draw on your triangles. So after you've done the first one then just move along and we are going to do six for Mr and Mrs. So once you've drawn all six of your triangles, or however many you need for whichever phrase or saying that you're writing, we're just going to pin in between each of these triangles just to ensure they don't move around too much as we're, um, as we're cutting them out. The next part of this is adding the lettering to the bunting and it's actually a lot easier than you would think. So I've printed out Mr and Mrs in the typewriter font and I'm actually just going to cut each individual letter out. We're going to use the same method here that we used for our seating plan in one of the earlier episodes. I've cut out the Mr and Mrs. Now there's only four letters but because the R and the S repeats that's all that you need. You're going to open up the bunting, take your first letter which is the M. I'm going to keep this out because while I can see through the material, any extra detailing on the font, I'm just going to keep this out just to jog my memory. Okay, so when you have traced over all of the letters, you will be left with Mr and Mrs. The next step is adding the twine. So that's going to form the string of your bunting. So I'm just going to put all of that out of the way and grab some twine. You might not know exactly how long you need your piece of string in terms of what you're actually going to end up hanging it onto. So um, more is always better because you don't want to end up kind of short. So I'm just going to pull off maybe a couple of meters. Yeah, I'd say about two and a half meters there. Cut that off. Next stage is to open up all of the letters. Make sure they're in the right order because there's, there's kind of no going back from this bit. This piece of string is going to lay flat amongst that, against that crease. So I'm just going to weigh that down with some scissors just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And then, ready with the hot glue gun, just straight down the edges. And again, don't worry if your lines are a little bit wonky, it'll still stick. And we're going to fold over the top, match up with the bottom, and then just push down lightly. The hot glue will come through the burlap because it's got holes in it, which is what we were able to see the font through. So just be aware of that. I don't want you to burn yourself. And there we have it. Mr. and Mrs. Bunting in a rustic country style. So obviously you could write whatever you like on any size of bunting. I think it would look lovely if you did a few around the venue. So you have Mr and Mrs behind the couple. If you're going to have one of those amazing sweet bars, kind of, you know, where there's loads of glass jars full of pick -a mix kind of help yourself or sweeties or anything. I think they look lovely and it just brings everything together. It brings in the burlap, the type font that we've been using. It's so easy and so simple. As you've seen, it literally takes a minute and I think it's really, really effective. Don't forget to have a look at the rest of our craft videos from this series if you are planning a rustic country wedding. And I hope to see you again soon.